What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Stetson and today we're going fishing. So we're headed to my neighbor's pond. Uh, as you can see, it's not very big. It's a little less than a quarter of an acre. Uh, and it's not real deep either. I think the deepest point is nine feet and it's completely full of grass. But let's see what we can do. cast out with the wind maybe I can get more distance and uh, fish it back to me and hopefully get a couple of bites full of grass Absolutely full of it. It's a decent cast. Nothing. All right, so the previous owner of this uh, little pond told me that <laughs> told me that oh wow that hook just just annihilated him oh yeah he ate it okay so the previous owner of the pond told me that they stocked it a whole bunch of years ago uh in that the deepest part was like towards the center but towards their house and it was nine feet and i've noticed just fishing it Got a squirrel. Squirrel. I noticed fishing it <clears throat> uh, that I've caught more fish. When I first moved here, it was like, oh, okay. You missed that one. Ate the claws. You know what? Put another one on. When I first moved here, the grass was horrible. Just completely just you see how the grass is around the edge it was like that towards the center and the lady that owned it said that oh there's a non-town bass in here and i was like no way at all is there a non-town bass in there but we're gonna it's gonna be like a pretty much a tutorial on oh we got a bite guys yep Didn't even really penetrate. Got him right in the tongue. Well, that sucks. He bleeding a little bit, but it's nothing uh, that's gonna kill him. That's just his tongue. And when you put a fish, see blood. The fish blood is not like human blood. It coagulates in water. So rinse my hands off real quick. It coagulates, coagulates, and coagulates, coagulates, coagulates in water. So, uh, if you have a fish that is bleeding, oh, he just inhaled it. Didn't even really mess up the the speed crawl. But if you have a fish that's bleeding, don't try to use Mountain Dew or Sprite or whatever crazy solution you've heard just put dip them back in the water i mean it does work i'm not saying don't do it if you catch a fish and don't have no water around by all means use a sprite or mountain dew to stop them from bleeding but if you 
you put them back in water, they stop bleeding. <sighs> the key is to catch it before they bleed out a lot, you know. You don't want them to be there bleeding for two, three minutes before you stick them back in the water. You want to do it as soon as possible. Tell you what. I'm going to toss that one and grab this new one. And this is a just a 3 aught EWG Gamagatsu hook. I really don't throw a flipping hook on in this pond right here just because there's really no point to it. I mean, these aren't like, you know, big fish, so. Let's see if we can get a bite. Now the setup is a, it's a seven foot, medium heavy. It's not really my flipping. Oh, now we got one. It's a little bugger. Yeah, we got him now. Let's see. No, nope, let it go. See, like I said, they're small. This one's been getting beat up. Beat up. But it's just fun. Cast over here. Full of grass. Well, guys, I don't think we're going to catch them today. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and share this with your friends and family. We didn't really catch them, but we caught a couple, and that's what's most important, just getting out, enjoying the, the outdoors and being one with nature. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. Next week, we're going to be going to a local lake, and me and a, me and a buddy is going to fish it. Uh, I think the goal for that lake is going to be 20 pounds. I think a 20-pound stringer is going to be pretty awesome. So I'm going to bring you guys along, and, and hopefully we catch them. If not, you're coming along anyway. So we're going to catch them. We're going to do whatever we can to switch it up throw this throw that throw our whopper ploppers and our wacky tackies and we're gonna make it happen we're gonna make it happen so y'all stay tuned <laughs>